Uh, how do you feel about uh, the fight? Well, um, actually, I didn't really have the enough preparation time uh, between the last fight and this fight, so um, I, I feel quite a little bit disappointed that I didn't have enough time to prepare. Uh, when you fought um, in K1 this month, uh, last month, and uh, have you? Did you get injured from the fight? I didn't notice that, but I just uh, realized now that I didn't have enough time to prepare, and uh, I don't think um, I had a good enough technique to defend myself. However, the next time I fight, I'd like to um, overcome my weakness. So the next fight is going to be uh, MMA also? Is the next fight uh, MMA also? Yes, uh, if I will be given an opportunity, I'd like to fight MMA again. And I find myself uh, liking MMA uh, more than I expected. Now, uh, you took down Fedor twice. And uh, you actually went uh, all on top of Mr. Fedor. Don't, didn't you think that uh, it was a great opportunity uh, to uh, defeat Fedor when you took that position? Actually, I don't really remember. I'm quite nervous. I don't remember what happened in the match, in the bout. Have you been, were you injured? No, I'm not injured. I'm not, nothing major. Were you going to take him down before you, he took you down? Was that a part of your tactic? Uh, personally, because I'm um, from Seoul, uh, that was natural uh, for me to do that. Uh, I'd like to take the last question. So if you're going to uh, keep fighting in MMA, who do you want to fight next? Or in the future? I would like to rematch Fido. Uh, after I pre have enough time to prepare to fight Fido, I'd like to rematch. Uh, can you tell us about your long term vision? Well, I fought a lot uh, this uh, last year, so I like to uh, take a good rest in January, February, and March. And uh, I have fight being scheduled in April, uh, so until now I like to um, rest in South Korea. <laughs>